following the progress of Terra Preta Farm in Edinburgh, they have now support from the city to expand their operations. Local 23's Iris Karami spoke with the city officials who shared how they're keeping or they're trying to move forward. We all eat, we have breakfast or lunch or dinner, and it's, all of this is thanks to a farmer. And so I think the farmers need to get a lot of support and, and start seeing them as a public service. Last week when I spoke with the Regosas, they were in talks with the city of Edinburgh to approve their high tunnels for their crops. Edinburgh City Councilman Jenny Garcia says he supports their vision as urban farmers. All our farming and, and citrus growth has pretty much disappeared. And when you see a couple, you know, the, the Regosas that are wanting to keep this alive, you know, it's, it's enthusiastic, you know, to see that they have that energy. Garcia also says during the peak of the pandemic, the Regosas provided produce that wasn't in the supermarkets. So in the time that uh, the pandemic, you know, was in front of us, these people rose to the challenge. However, a few years ago, Garcia says the land they are on was rezoned to residential, hindering the Regosas' operations. Councilman says they are working to have the Regosas' projects reconsidered in front of the city, a process he says will take until early November to decide. We're going to bring it before planning and zoning to see if it's something that we can remove as a whole as far as having to go through a variance for families like them as far as urban farming. Reporting local first in Edinburgh, I'm Iris Karami. Councilman Johnny Garcia is also working to remove the variance fee from urban farmers like the Regosas.